we have our background for the maps icon finished so we can move to the foreground for the maps that is this blue and red badge and this blue arrow with this path which you can you should follow so we will start with the badge we will insert new text box change the fill to no fill outline to no outline you know maybe adjust the margins for this text box to zero and we will insert a new symbol from the font webdings and that is this badge it's almost the same but uh, maybe should be wider but before we do so we will make it a little bit bigger like this and we will make it wider by jumping into the font settings advanced step and scale to maybe 130 percent okay i think that this is just fine so move it a little bit away from the actual icon resize it format shape pane because we will want to use the gradient fill from the red to white to blue so we have this as big as possible in the text options change the text fill to gradient fill select the first step make it yellow make it red insert the next step make it also red the next step should be white another white and blue maybe this one and you can see that we can see only the blue because the red is out of the symbol so we will move this red down like this and make it maybe make this red a little bit darker move the white more to the top and the blue one also just like this i think this is just fine maybe the blue is too dark so we make it a little bit lighter like this then we want to add this white outline so in the text outline change it to solid line white color maybe raise the width to just like one and a half points or 1.25 move it on the right spot insert new text box type it 280 or what was it make it smaller no fill no outline no margins maybe center aligned change the font to maybe ui ui maybe make it bold but smaller text color to white like this for this arrow we will also use a symbol so we can duplicate this text box and insert new symbol and from the font ui ui symbol we will insert this arrow which is somewhere in the middle of the font here it is this is our arrow we just need to rotate it 90 degrees and insert new circle make it blue color no outline and we want this in the top so we will send it to bring it to front now we want this path to follow so we will insert new shape and this time we will use this L shape draw it like this rotate it and the first thing which we want is to snap to this top and right part so we will resize it to snap to the top and the right part and then we will use those yellow handles to adjust this size and this size like this we will also change the fill to blue color and we can maybe set the line to no line it should be fine so when we are ready we can move everything on the right spot that is move this to the left you can see that it's a little bit off so we can maybe adjust the fill with this offset x values we'll move it a little bit to the right like this show a selection pane and group it together with this text box oval text box l shape rename it to the mess icon and move it to the first page
like this.